اِذْ يُغَشِيكُمُ النُّعَاسَ اَمَنَتَمْ مِنْهُ When he caused the slumber overtake you. Now this is very important sign. The night before Badr, before the battle, the Muslims, you know, they slept very calmly. It was from the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Had they been harboring fears, what will happen tomorrow? You know, they couldn't sleep. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave, you know, satisfaction and calmness to their hearts. So that they slept very well. When they slept very well, they were first in the morning. That, that is one of, you know, the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which came to the Muslims. And second blessing which came, rain came down. The, that was the second blessing. So that he, he purifies you with it. You can make ablutions. You can, if you, there is a need, you can take the bath. They gather the water of rain, you know, in the form of a pond. So that he takes away from you the abhorrent things that which are from shaitan. Somebody might have become, you know, for him it might have become necessary to have a bath. But how could they take a bath if there was no, uh, no water? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provided you the water. And so that he strengthens your hearts. Why you submit a bihil akdam. And there your feet must be firm. Now because you know the sandy, you know, the, this, this soil, now the sand settled. So that you their force, you know, they were also their feet were firm. Is you hear of Bukhaid al Malaika? Just recall when your Lord was inspiring and saying to the angels, he was sending the angels, 1,000 angels go and help the Muslims. But what was the command that he gave? I am with you. Just listen. Even angels couldn't do anything if Allah was not with them. So actually the all authority is with Allah. All power is with Allah. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Nobody has anything in his control or command. Even the angels. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling the angels, Inni maakum. You go to help my believers and I'm with you. Fasabbetul lazeena amanu. Now make firm those who believe. Sa'ulqi fi qulubu lazeena kafaru rob. I will put and cast terror in the minds of those people, in the hearts of those people who don't believe, who have rejected the faith. Fagdebu. So smite and strike over their necks. And strike and smite every fingertip of them. This is because they opposed Allah. They became enemies of Allah and His Messenger. And whosoever becomes hostile to Allah and his messenger, then Allah is very swift in giving punishment. He is very severe in giving punishment. Shadidul Iqab. Zalikum fazuku. Wanna lil kafirin azab an nar. This is for you. Taste it. Now this is addressing the kuffar, the people of Makkah. This is the first installment which we have given you. Seventy of your people, mostly the chiefs, they have been killed. Zalikum, fazuku. Now taste this. One lil kafirin azab an nar, and this is only the beginning. Actually, for the unbelievers who have rejected the faith, the real punishment is that of far of hell. Ya yuhal ladina amanu ila laqib tumul ladina kafar zahfan. Oh, you who believe, when you meet those who have rejected the faith, rejected iman. In a battlefield. Don't show them and don't turn your backs to them. You must be face to face with them. Fight them with courage. To your last. Not to run away. Not to show your backs to them. And whosoever turns his back towards them. Except two things. Number one, 
if there is some strategy, some strategic move, and due to the strategic orderly retreat, you are going back. But even then, you know, the backs are not turned, you know, going back. And number two, or you have to go to meet another group of your own, another contingent of the Muslim army. So one may have to take them back so that both are joined together. These are the two only exceptions in which a mu'min is allowed to retreat from the battlefield as a strategy or when you have to go and meet and join with other contingent of the Muslim army. And whosoever, except in those, these two conditions, whosoever turns his back, فَقَدْ بَابِ غَضَبٍ مِّنَ اللَّهِ So he has incurred the wrath of Allah. وَبَابَ عَوْ جَهَنَّمْ وَبِيسَ الْمَصِيرِ and his abode will be hell. And that's a very bad destination. Falam taqtuluhum. Very important ayah. O Muslims, it was not you who killed them. You couldn't kill these 70 people. Armed to their teeth. Mounted. So many, you know, more than you in number. Falam taqtuluhum. It's actually Allah who has killed them. And oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when you threw a handful of dust towards the army of the enemy, actually you didn't throw it, Allah threw it. Why? What does it mean? Don't misinterpret this ayah. What does it mean? Nothing can happen without the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But don't think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have killed the enemy had the Muslim not come in the field and confronted the enemy. First, the Muslim, the Mormon has to do whatever he can do. But he should never think that your, his own power or his own means, they will be decisive. It's Allah who decides it. So actually, they were the Muslims there. They were fighting. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped them. And now he's saying, only your own power, your own strength, could not give you this, this victory. It's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the same way when say, we say that Allah is Raziq. But we are working hard. Doing so many things. If we sit, you know, hands folded, then Allah is not going to send us, send us any provision or any risk. But whatever we earn, we say it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the fuzzle of Allah. That is why, you know, the earning, this worldly earning. Quran has only used this word kasb, only one place. Otherwise it is fuzzle. فَإِذَا قُلْيَتْ سَلَاتُ فَالْتَشَرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ when the fight, the prayer, the prayer is over, you can go about in the, on the earth and you try to, to search for the fuzzle of Allah. Whatever you get, although you might have worked, you have worked hard for an hour and you got ten dollars. But you don't think this is your earning. These ten dollars are fuzzle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is the, actually, the way a mu'min must think. So that is in the same way. We work hard to earn our livelihood. But whatever we get, it's from Allah. Who are Razik? In the same way, you strive to your utmost in the way of Allah. And you are there on the battlefield. You don't spare anything. You don't leave any stone unturned. Do whatever you can do. But when you are confronting the enemy, think that actually only the victory or the result will rest in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and none else. فَلَمْ تَقْتُلُوهُمْ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ قَتَلَهُمْ وَمَا رَمَيْتَ إِذْ رَمَيْتَ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ رَمَا وَلَيُبْلِيَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ مِنْهُ بَلَا الْحَسَنَا And this was, so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to put the believers to a fine test. So as to bring forth the good in them. Please note here, those who have some understanding of the Arabic language, بَلَا يَبْلُو in Salasi Mujarrad it means simple testing. Bala yablu. 
and abla yubli iblaan this is babu ifal this means you know to put someone to a test so that the good in him comes out and it becomes apparent bala abla this is from abla la yubli al mu'minin allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put you to this test so that you know the good in you becomes apparent comes out people can see see them with their own eyes what is hidden in in you in allah samiun alim verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all hearing all knowing zalikum this is this has happened this victory is yours o muslims this defeat is yours o the unbelievers of makka wa anna allah muhinu muhinu kaidil kafirin allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to weaken all the strategies all the devisings all the plans of these unbelievers so to be be at rest o muslims allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of them after afterwards also in tasqaftahu faqad jaakum al fath now this is directed towards the kufar of makkah in tasqaftahu faqad jaakum al fath if you wanted a decision from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the decision has come actually what happened because abu jahl was absolutely confident his victory 1000 strong army wholly prepared with full provisions and you know in that day, in those days in arabia this was a very unusual phenomenon people of quraish very brave their bravery was acknowledged throughout the arabian peninsula 1000 of them marching towards madina and you know the intelligence reports must have been there that the muslims are not more than 300 and they lack the arms and they have nothing with them nearly armless so he was so sure of victory that we shall just you know finish them that he said this is going to be yawmul furqan al furqan means criterion which discriminates between what is false what is real what is good what is bad what is right what is wrong so he himself said this is going to be yawmul furqan now this day you know will prove who is on the right path because they thought we are on the right path at least they claim so we are on the right path this is the creed and religion of our forefathers which we are following they are the people who have left you know the the, the deen and creed of their forefathers so they are at fault not us so this will prove this day will be a criterion day of criterion this is going to be yawmul furqan so now allah subhanahu wa taala is saying to the quraish of makkah in tastaftihu faqad jaakum al fath if you wanted a judgment and decision you have got it now it's absolutely clear that allah is with muhammad and his companions sallallahu alaihi wasallam radhi allah taala anhum fa in tantahu fa huwa khairul lakum now if you stop if you give up the opposition that you have been making to al- to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is better for you if you desist in future it's better for you wa in taudu now and if you again do the same thing we shall again do the same thing the same result will come to you we should also do the same thing walan tughni ankum fiyatukum shay'an walau kasurat and your host will avail you nothing though it may be numerous your number might be more than 1000 or 2000 it will be of no avail to you wan allah mal mu'minin no it be it known to you that allah is on the side of the believers he is on the back of the believers he is with the believers